Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and I've got a brand new Dutch oven. So guess what we're making? Okay, that should have been a very easy guess. Of course, we're going to make one of my favorite things. Corned beef and cabbage. Don't, please don't wait till the, uh, St. Patrick's Day to make this. This is a great dish any time of the year. So what we have here, this is a small, um, you know, corned beef brisket, uh, right straight from the grocery store. And what we're going to do here is we're going to season it with some of our homemade seasoning blend. Now this is cracked black pepper, cracked, um, celery seed and mustard seed along with some ground coriander and uh, no salt uh, sometimes these uh, these corned beef briskets can be kind of salty already um, you know I gotta like uh, wait to the end to put any salt on I want to pat that uh, mix down into it real good and get a super good coating all over it so I'm setting up the Dutch oven here for, for bottom, for good bottom heat. Um, we've got just a solid layer there. I'm going to throw a little olive oil in the bottom. I'm going to try to get that to kind of a searing temperature. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid on and uh, stack that with some coals just to preheat the oven until it gets up to that oil and kind of gets to that smoking temperature. Right now we're going to just uh, lay in that uh, that corned beef brisket after we swirl that oil around a little bit. We're going to put it fat side down just to get a little sear on it. We've been uh, rotating this uh, piece here a couple times now and uh, just trying to get it browned on all the sides. So it's getting there now. You can see it's uh, getting a nice brown sear on the outside. Now we're going to go ahead and add, that's going to be half a beer. Okay? Use your favorite kind of beer. Um, this is kind of what my trick to this uh, little broth here does add another dimension of flavor. Right after that I'm going in with like a half of a sweet onion that's just chopped and about a cup of unsalted vegetable stock here. Don't want to really bring any more meat flavors into it uh, but that vegetable stock does bring a lot of dimension and some flavor back into it. Get that lid back on her and uh, I'm going to let that thing braise until all these coals burn out and we'll come back and see it after a while all right folks so we had uh, the uh, the corned beef in the Dutch oven now for about an about an hour and 15 minutes till all the coals burned out I'm um, gonna take it out of there put on some aluminum foil with a meat hook this is a beautiful hand forged one that uh, one of our subscribers Craig Allendorf sent over. He makes these on his forge for fun and um, it's very nice. We appreciate that Craig. We'll be using that in future videos. So let's just go ahead right now and just wrap that corned beef up. Keep it over here on the side and keep it warm and we'll go ahead and start our cabbage. Hey, I haven't mentioned it in a while but thanks to all of you guys that have gone over to our Amazon store. I'm leaving that link right down in the first comment and in the description box. You can go over there, you can purchase anything on Amazon, see the great stuff that we've assembled on our storefront, but you don't see what you want, just use the search bar at the top about anything on Amazon, and we appreciate every single person who has done that so far. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, still warm Dutch oven right back up on top of a new layer of charcoal. We'll go ahead and let that start to come up to simmer, and we'll add our cabbage and our other ingredients.
Said, this rim is pretty short, so I'd keep your coals back a, a ways on the edge. Today I'm using some uh, Royal Oak All Natural. Seems to have about the same burn time as Kingsford. We're not going to need a huge burn time. Alright, that's up to a simmer. This is pretty much a dump dish at this point. There's green cabbage, about three quarters of a small one. I have some red cabbage just for color because I had some left over. Green scallions sliced right straight out of the garden. Again, uh, some flat leaf parsley also right out of the garden. Give that a little stir right down into that broth that we already got. Now, I don't want to put any broth in, any additional broth in yet until this has a chance to cook some of the water out of that cabbage. I don't want it to be cabbage soup. So, stick the lid back on. These will be working fine with the... <sighs> Can't make one. The only problem is, is that sucker gets hot because your hand, this part, is right above the charcoal. All right, so the cabbage is looking pretty good. Pretty done. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my my corned beef right in the middle, right in the aluminum foil. Let that warm back up. A few minutes, we'll be ready to eat. Alright, we got our corned beef out here. Now it's important to know which way the grain runs in your corned beef and you want to slice across it. If you look here, this grain is running this way. Okay? You can see it right here. Let's see if I can get that on camera better. You can see the striations in the beef. So you definitely want to cut across that, just like with the brisket. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a slice, see what it looks like on the inside. And you see you're cutting across those meat fibers. And it's just almost fall apart tender already. You see that one piece just kind of kicked off there. But it's still sliceable. And that's what you want it to be, just like a brisket. All right, let's go ahead and serve this up backwards gourmet style. Gonna come over with some of that beautiful cabbage with that broth. And that broth is the ticket. We did season this right at the end with some Seminole Swamp seasoning. All right, now let's come over with uh, our corned beef. Let's see if we can arrange those a little better. We don't want to disturb that beautiful crust that we built into it there. It's alright. We need now a little garnish. Alright, there you go. A little parsley for garnish. Happy St. Patty's Day. Let's go ahead and give that cabbage a try. Mmm, wow. It's nice and tender. And this corned beef, just cut that with a fork if you didn't notice. Wow, doesn't need any salt at all. That's why we left that salt off the seasoning. So happy St. Patty's Day while I sit here and eat this right in front of you. Oh, man.